there's no better feeling than getting a lowly little pawn all the way across the board to make another queen. For most players, including myself, it usually means getting their most powerful piece back, but for other players, it can mean having two or three queens to completely dominate the game. Back on. <clears throat> But that got me thinking, what's the most amount of queens that have been on the board at the same time in a professional chess match? Well, there's a couple different answers here, and while there are a couple games that boast four or five queens, there's two games that I really want to go over specifically. The first game being a professional and frankly extremely accurate tournament game between David Anton Guijaro, who was a FIDE master at the time, but is now a grandmaster, versus Alejandro Franco Alonso, who was, I believe, an international master at the time, although I couldn't quite find out when he got his title. This game was extremely lengthy at 82 moves, so we skipped ahead a bit to move 60, which was white to play, and it's h7, going for that 8h queen promotion square, but black is right behind them with the a1 to queen promotion. After that, white plays queen f5 check, which apparently blunders mate in 11, but it's not really any big deal. It's king d6, and then white makes a queen anyway. Black continues to play the best moves here, which is king c5, and then white follows with queen f8 check. King c4 to avoid getting mated, queen e6 check, king d3, queen takes f6, Queen d4, and then a little bit of shuffling moves until eventually we see white start pushing his g-pawn. I wonder what's gonna happen. Some more shuffling, then g5, and now black's turn to push with a3, g6, a2, g7, a1 is a queen, g8 is a queen, and as of move 73, there's officially six queens on this board. Keep in mind, this is a professional match in a professional tournament, and I just think that's so fun. That's so cool. Although it doesn't really matter because in a couple moves, they end up just trading all the queens down until there's only two left anyways. And then after a couple more shuffling moves, black makes the fatal error, king d2, which blunders mate in 16 and i don't know if they saw mate in 16 but the idea here is queen d5 check and you trade queens once you trade queens your white pawn is free to run up the board and nothing can catch it uh, they'll throw in a check but it's no big deal because you just take it back uh, and then yeah you run up to make a queen and then you can easily mate them the next game comes from two grandmasters in a professional tournament the 12th pnwcc online blitz jp in 2020 baby it's Avenji Postri versus Dmitry Gordevsky. And maybe because it was an online tournament, or maybe both GMs were just in a silly, goofy mood, uh, but the game is over 100 moves long, and white ends up with over six queens. For whatever reason, black just decided to go with it all the way until the end. Very good sportsmanship. We love to see it. In this position, we are starting out on move 38 out of 101. White to play with knight g6 check, king e8, rook f8 check, king d7, Rook f7 check just to trade rooks. King c8, they swap, no big deal. Rook c5 check, king b6, rook c4, rook c1, desperado check. Uh, king runs away to h2, no big deal. c2, yep, e6, we're gonna make a queen on the e file. King a5, e7, b6, e8 equals queen, rook h1, desperado check. We take their rook, they make a queen, we take their queen. And now it's white's game to win. After king b4, we're officially on move 50. And I'm just going to go ahead, kind of fast forward a little bit because there's not much to see here except white just tormenting the hell out of black. We have no idea why black won't resign. It's mate and one this entire time. But white, you know, we're in a silly, goofy mood. Hey, why not? Let's make every single pawn we have a queen. And just like that, on move 85, white has six queens all by themselves, and this is also in a professional tournament game. So exciting! What's even crazier is it's still mate in one, and it's only move 85 out of 101. So let's see what white does. All right, black does king d1, and white gets everybody all lined up nice and neat. Heads on over the king to the other side of the board. Let's get the knight out of there. And I guess this is the position white was going for. Very artistic. I love how it looks. It looks very beautiful. A couple moves left from black. We get out of the way with our rook. And then queen h1 to deliver checkmate. 
How beautiful. No idea why Dimitri did not resign, although I do love it. It makes for beautiful, interesting chess content. So thank you, Dimitri, for playing on. And that's going to be it for the end of this video. I did get all my information off of Tim Crabay's website, and I have mentioned it before in other videos. If you want to see his site over those videos, they'll all be linked in the description below. And if you guys have anything you want me to do a video on, any interesting chess news or articles, please let me know, and I will try my very best. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching.